Welcome folks to Broadford Raceway, just north of Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. I'm in my Mazda MX-5, the NA that I have. It's a full NB drivetrain swap NA8. And we're just here for some fun, which is I guess why I'm always at the track, but today's particularly for some fun because it's just like a chill day, yeah? We're driving the NA because the NB is the serious car. This car is the fun and chill, more relaxed car. Uh, I'm here with the Nugget Nationals uh, event organizers because I don't know they're good at putting on these chill days uh, their cars are typically I guess what you'd call more traditional front-wheel drive shopping trolley type cars Toyota Echoes Hyundai XL as you can see in front of me Ma uh, Mitsubishi Mirage that sort of thing and they run a little racing series, which is really cool, quite competitive, and obviously the intention, intent is that it's relatively cost effective. Uh, and I come along in my MX-5 just because I like the people and I like the way they run their days. Um, and so, yeah, that's why we're here. Broadford's a pretty cool track, relatively short, which uh, in general means it's ideal for an MX-5. It's got kind of two straights, which I'm sitting alongside one of them right now, and then a bunch of squiggly stuff around it. The straights are not that long, and the squiggly stuff's pretty fun and interesting and challenging. Lots of undulations, uh, off camber corners, corners that fall away from you. Turn one up here straight ahead of us is quite interesting because it's a steep climb up into turn one. So lots of interesting uh, pieces of tarmac to drive upon. And typically it's a motorcycle circuit. I think that's kind of the main purpose of this facility. There's a bunch of off-road tracks around here for, I guess, motocross type riding. And there's also this circuit, which I gather motorcyclists like to ride around. I've never been here when bikes are running. I've only been here in a car. Probably not suited to a bigger car, you know, something bigger and faster. Even my NB would, would be okay here, but it, uh, sort of somewhat outpaced the track, if that makes any kind of logical sense. But yeah, just here for some fun. Um, there's an S2000 in our group and an S13 Silvia, as well as a bunch of these front wheel drive hatchback type cars. Let's see how we go. in front of my helmet so I'll try and talk and drive I make no promises on how well you'll be able to hear me but let's see how we go the weather has been holding off thankfully it's been dry today despite being raining rainy all week uh, you can see some gloomy clouds out in the distance there but I think we're gonna have a good track day uh, this is the third session for today that XL is hooking as you can see he's right off the bat he's uh, he's pushing it I'm not really competing in a in a competition against these guys they do have their own little championship uh, but some of them are pretty fast you know you might think of a little shopping trolley hatchback as not being that cool but they actually have some good pace compared to me in the MX-5 than some of these cars that are here today. It's got kind of the same levels of power, about the same weight. It's just, I guess, a slightly more sportly platform being front end and rear drive. I don't want to come up with race driver excuses, but I am running some relatively old Henkel RS3s today, so they're a, a semi-competitive tyre, but they're definitely not new. Uh, 
Uh, they're a little bit hard, I guess you might say, for, for what they are, but they, they suit the car and the track quite well uh, in terms of the type of pace we're looking for here. When I say we, I'm talking mostly myself. Oh, there's some understeer. to see how quick these XLs can be. Clearly, they are a pretty good driver too. He's got a bit more balls than I do. Broken quite late into that corner there. As I say, I'm here for fun. I don't want to break myself or the car. We're going to hook it in for this final turn so we get a nice little late apex there. It allows us to get on the power a bit earlier. And we head down the relatively short straight towards turn one and we break deep into this right hander and then run out of grip a little bit and then run out of power come on we're at four and a half five thousand rpm but the car just goes blur on the exit of turn two there we have to head down this back straight which is not the straight because we've got some kicks and some lumps and then we break into crash corner which is this guy here the exit falls away, so you kind of got to be careful on the power on the exit. And then there's this complex little left, right, left, right, whatever you call it there. Chicane-esque. And then downhill braking into here, which is kind of a double apex. So we apex there, and then we apex again over the concrete strip there. And then this final corner is kind of the same to some degree somewhat double apex I like to run to about mid track and then try and pull the pull the car back over to clip the apex there on the exit. You can see we're not really catching the cars in front. Similar sort of pace. That turn one is quite a fun challenging corner. You can really throw the car into the corner, brake really late. And because you're, it's got that rise, you've got some huge amount of grip. Same with here, there's a, a rising grip as you lift. There's that elevation. But then on the exit, the track falls away from you. You've got to be careful through those. The little sausage curves are pretty aggressive and there's concrete on the left hand apex which you can ride over but with the curb there you don't want to ride it too hard it could damage the underside of the car or something so I'm trying to not be too greedy and we want to get the car over to the left to clip that apex on the exit there try and get a straight power run out of the final corner up to fifth gear I think we making the brakes getting a bit warm. Again, the car just feels so sluggish out of that corner. We've got the Sylvia here. Yeah, I think it's one of his first days out on track. Pretty much a stock non-turbo S13. With some rough looking street tyres. Better way to drive through that corner in terms of raw pace, where to brake, but I'm making it work and I'm keeping the thing on the track. We have already had one car have a little roll and uh, end up on its roof, so I don't want to join that in the list of cars that are going home a little bit unhappy. So I'm trying to push but not push across the edge. Try 
try third. Yeah, maybe third is a better idea. Oh, I just hit the limiter on the exit there, so I think it might be an idea. We're sort of edging up towards the Teco now. Pace is hugely different. Oh, my brakes. I do think the fluid's starting to suffer. Oh, those hard braking moments. Those guys really hustle through those S's. A little chicane. So if you're not familiar with this car, it's basically an NA 1.8. I think it was a Clubman originally. That I bought it as pieces, basically a, a shell with no drivetrain at all, no subframes, most of the body panels missing. And I bought, oh yeah, we're running out of brakes now. And I bought a uh, an NV from about 2004. So one of the last NV model MX-5s and kind of merged the two cars together. So we've got an NA chassis with MB drivetrain, that includes brakes, engine, suspension, gearbox, diff, ABS system, wiring loom, dashboard, door cards. You get the gist, right? It's basically an NB in NA clothing. Makes for a fun car, it still feels very much like an MX-5, just a little bit more pep, a little bit nicer. It's still got a few uh, crackles and creaks and things that are kind of not uncommon on an older NA MX-5, as the Echo is clearly pushing it. He's thrown some crap up onto the track in front of us there. except for the, the rear muffler is some sort of DIY job that I've done myself. But all the pipes underneath the car are factory, headers are factory. And uh, I'm sure I saw the checkered flag. I must have been the first one to see it. I don't know. Nonetheless, in we come. That's been a session of Broadford Raceway with Nugget Nationals. Thanks to Nuggets on the day and for bringing the good weather and I appreciate your watching this video I hope you enjoy I'll see you next time